Hey Harmonizers, we are here at the Florida Horse Park. I've got Lissy and we've just been filming videos for our new app that's coming out. And I wanted to share with you guys because part of what we ended up doing was Liberty in this ginormous open space. And it's not even just an open space that's not even fenced in. There's actually other people on horses. There's horse trailers. It's a really big ginormous area. So much going on. You can see I'll just kind of take you guys this way so you can see a little bit. And as I kind of show you guys where we are and what's kind of going on here, just kind of giving you a few little tips to think about, which is why would your horse stick with you? If they have all this open space, there's all this grass, there's so much to look at, but why is your horse choosing you? And for me, I try to be very fair with my horses about what I ask them to do. Try not to go beyond their physical limits or their mental limits. Does he come? So I try to respect her thresholds. I also try to be very rewarding. So it's not a threat of if you don't do this, you're gonna have the pressure of the stick. Even though I'll use a stick to cue certain things, it's more than just saying, if you don't do this, I'm gonna hit you harder with the stick or I'm gonna threaten you. I might use the stick here to cue her for something so to ask for like a little spanish walk good girl yep and it has a, a communication or i might hold it up to get a different cue she'll start to turn because it's a cue to draw those shoulders or i can switch uh, sides here so she sees the stick not as a threat but as a communication device for what it is i'm asking her to do and why she's staying with me is because she feels good when she's with me. She gets rewarded when she's with me. Like what would be the point to leave and go somewhere else? And she knows that I'm gonna treat her fairly, that I'll take her back, I'll let her have some grass time. We do grazing time, we do um, just rest breaks, scratches. I help her feel good. And I really wanna to start to change that equestrian world of thinking that good girl canter that you need to pressure your horse and that it's weird or unusual to use food because you can use both i don't say that whips are bad see here i'm going to use this as a cue to just help her refocus and bring her head down it's a relaxation tool this is not a punishing tool so you can use tools you can use whips in a positive way to help your horse and keep in mind uh, i haven't had lissy that long she came off the track two years ago and then a lot of that time i've been pregnant i've been um uh having my kids and all that kind of stuff i work a full-time job good girl so to be able to bring her out here we don't practice liberty all that much and we're in a truly open space good girl come come Yes, good girl. So to be able to do this out here full of all these distractions, my goal is for this to be eye-opening for you guys. If you can do this with your horse, you can do this, but you have to think about why would my horse want to be with me? And if your goal is to do liberty out in an open space like this, let's see, come, where there's literally trucks and horses and everything going on, then we can't be using methods that are causing our horse to run up against the rail. If you're starting your liberty in a round pen and you're chasing your horse in the round pen, then what's gonna happen is your horse is gonna search for that rail. They're gonna search for the boundary. And then when you get into big spaces, then what can happen is your horse thinks, oh, okay, where's the boundary? And for my horses at liberty, they don't even think that way. They don't even think to look for the rail. They just look for me. And it's where is Lindsay going because I want to be around Lindsay. So this just kind of shows you, you get a glimpse of just how big this area is and how much commotion is going on through all of this. And we're able to have that level of energy. We're able to, you know, have walk, trot, canter. We're able to go at a distance. It's not that I'm keeping her super close to me. We just finished some riding videos too, which is why she has her saddle on. Let's see, go out and around. Good girl, come. Yes. 
So I want you to rethink what is possible by rethinking why would your horse want to be with you. And it's going to totally change your relationship. If you want to learn more, make sure you go to HarmonyHorsemanshipAcademy.com.